What's up guys, my name is Ace, and our next 6v6 map that we're expecting next week with the Season 3 Reloaded update is Alberon Hatchery. And for many of you that have played the campaign, you probably immediately recognize that this looked very similar to something we saw in the campaign. And today, I just wanted to go to that section of the campaign and show off this map, or at least the section that this map is based off of, to see just how similar it is to the campaign section. Did they literally just copy and paste a section from the campaign, or was it actually altered to be a proper 6v6 map? And diving right in, the first image that we got of Elberon Hatchery was actually when the Season 3 update dropped. This came with the blog post, and you can see a little bit of it from this angle, although it doesn't really show off much of the layout of the map. But then with the Season 3 Reloaded blog post, we got a much better image that does show off the layout a lot more. And this is the primary image we're going to be working off of today. It's also worth noting in the blog post, they stated that this is going to be a medium-sized map. Now with this, the campaign mission that this comes from is Recon by Fire. So if you guys want to check that out, you can pop in and see this for yourself. And with this, once you get to the hatchery section, this is what you'll be able to see. As you can see here, this is what the multiplayer map is based off of, is this section right here. And I'm just going to take you through a little bit of a walkthrough, but the main thing I wanted to point out immediately is this is very obviously not just straight up copied and pasted from the campaign. There are definitely a good handful of changes that they made here. It seems like they just took the general area and a few elements from that, including the main building area, as well as those four circular structures. And then from there, they did rework and add a bunch of the cover points on the map. So it's very clearly not a literal copy and paste, and I'm glad to see that, of course, because that probably wouldn't play super well for a 6v6 map if they just literally copied and pasted it. But we can see with the multiplayer map, it seems like they're cutting it off right around this point here. That's going to be the back side of the map. So in my mind, at least, that makes this more of like a medium small size map, not a true medium or larger style map in this game. And it's also worth noting, right in this area here, it looks like they actually added a different building. I don't know if we'll be able to access this building in regular multiplayer, or if it's just going to be sort of on the boundary of the map. But that is worth noting as well. That's a clear change that they made from the campaign section here. And then obviously, just scattered throughout the map, there are definitely going to be different cover points, as we can see, just to make it a much more playable experience for this. Now, one big question I have is whether or not we'll be able to access the rooftop of the main building here. In the campaign, this is one of the tactical ways that you can approach the situation is to shoot through the skylights on the top. If I had to guess, we probably won't be able to get on top of that roof because I feel like you'd be able to watch over spawns a little too easily that way. And then I'm also very curious to see what they end up doing with the inside of the building because as it's laid out right now, it is pretty cluttered and I don't think it would be well suited to like PvP play. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's everything I wanted to show here. I know this is a really quick video. It's just something I was curious about. And I did see a lot of comments with people that were just curious as to whether or not this was just a full-on copy and paste, super lazy job. And at least based on what we're seeing so far, that's obviously not the case. And that's excellent to see. I do feel like this is a good sized map for this game. I think it's going to play fairly fast paced because there isn't going to be a ton of room to breathe in camp as far as we can see. But I guess time will tell, and we'll find out for sure next week when this drops. And with that, I am curious to hear what you guys are thinking about this in the comment section down below. First up, based on what we've seen with the image, as well as just this little walkthrough of the campaign area, do you think this is a good size map? Do you think it'll play relatively well? And second, are there any other areas from the campaign that you can distinctly remember that you would like to see them do something similar with, where they take the aesthetics and maybe a small section of it, and then just rework it into a multiplayer map? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.